<laughs> okay, hi, welcome to Sunday Night, Night Live. Live. And we're here to tell you about how you can graph sine, cosine, tangent, and cotangent curves. So, you ready? So the proper way to graph a sine curve, a positive sine curve, is up at the left and then down and up at the right again with the feet over there, Genevieve's feet. Okay, <laughs> so if we wanted to do a horizontal, sh horizontal shift of positive 1, we would actually, wait, negative 1, negative 1, my bad, we would shift to the right. Done. So they're going to shuffle over. over to the, sure. Okay, thank you, that was a nice shift. Negative 1 over to the right. Okay, now if we wanted to do a horizontal shift of positive 1, we would move up. So, yeah. So, move it on up there. <laughs> this is a horizontal shift here. Or vertical shift, I mean. Okay, yes, that is a beautiful sine curve there. Thank you. Okay, so to graph a positive cosine curve, it actually goes down and then up again. So, it's going to look like this. And to graph negative cosine curve, <laughs> it's more like this. <laughs> and if you want to do a horizontal shift of negative 1, it's also going to move to the right, which is this way, yeah. And scoot over like this, or like this if it's positive. <laughs> and then if it wants to move up 1, it would be a shift of positive 1, a vertical shift of positive 1. It would move up here, like this. Hold on, I'm gonna fall over. Okay. This right here is a tangent curve, which is down at the left, up at the right, and it actually extends infinitely upward and downward, which is why we can't see the finishing top or bottom. And yeah, this is a cotangent curve, which is up at the left, down at the right, and also extends infinitely upward and downward, which is why we can't see the top or bottom ending. Okay, so. In trying to, she's pouting because I'm making her view in the video. Okay, in trying to figure out the period for a sine, cosine, or cotangent curve, you do 2 pi over the absolute value of b within the equation. But for tangent, it's like the weird odd freak one. Um, <laughs> like this one. Don't hit on um, <laughs> You do regular pi over b instead of 2 pi over b. <laughs> It's probably going to be in the video. <laughs> Alright, okay, so that's how you do period. Alright, okay. okay, in trying to figure out the uh, amplitude of a sine or cosine curve, all you do is take the absolute value of the number in front, so A. Oh my word. <laughs> so, absolute value of A, that's how you find amplitude. And in cotangent and tangent, there's not really an amplitude because, you know, it extends infinitely upward and downward. Um, so, yeah, that's how it goes. Okay, calculating the vertical stretch and shrink in um, cotangent and tangent is actually based on the um, number in front, so A. Um, so vertical shrink looks like this. And vertical stretch looks like this. 